Hey guys, it's Demetrius Flowers, and um, don't turn away. I know that the video is showing on an empty chair, and um, that's not by mistake, it's for a reason. Um, I think that a lot of people that see this will be able to get something out of it, and um, I had to, I had a, I was thinking earlier to myself, and, and talking out loud about how um, I feel like, in, in a lot of regards, as it relates to um, my desires for wanting more out of life um, financially, um, um, as it relates to standard living, things like that, that I had suppressed a lot of those feelings and, and desires and things like that. And I was just really, really upset with myself, I'm disappointed in myself, feeling as though I had accomplished so many things in my young life, but at the same time had allowed those accomplishments to sort of define me in the sense that I became fearful of pressing forward um, and going after a lot of other things that I desired in life because I didn't want to get uncomfortable um, as it related to the the uh, previous successes that um, I have um, enjoyed. Um, and so understanding that when you are chasing after something bigger than where you're at, sometimes there can be some setbacks. You might have to take five steps back to take 20 steps forward. And a lot of us, um, including myself, we get so afraid of have maybe, you know, taking those five steps forward or having to endure and go through those failures um, that we will in turn convince ourselves that we're happy with where we're at and that there's no need to progress or try to pro move forward and that we're simply being um, ridiculous in our thought process or being selfish because, heck, I don't need it all. And no, I don't need it all, but I want everything that the Lord has blessed me to believe is possible for, possible for me to attain in my life. And so, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm saying these things and I had to address something, man. I mean... And I think a lot of people will be able to uh, relate to this. I had to address the, the most negative individual in my life because I'm saying these things and boom, all of a sudden, this individual starts uh, um, telling me that you're being ridiculous. Um, uh, um, what about all the things you've accomplished, your degrees, um, your profession, your, your beautiful wife, your beautiful son? And so I started to feel bad, like, yeah, man, what about all of those things? And, and, and I have no room to complain or, or, um, or, or, or want, should, should I even want more out of life? Should I even want to continue to press forward and, and, and challenge myself? Or what if, what if um, some of the things that I'm chasing after all of a sudden um, um, I have some setbacks and some failures and that negatively affects my family's, um, status and, 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 and way of life, uh, um, on the way to me chasing after something to, um, build things that will be, um, um, passed on for generation after generation, because see, that's where I'm at. It's no longer about me, but because I have a son, I think about him and his kids, 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 and what can I do right now to lay a foundation so he has, um, a much better start than I did in life and can give them a much better start than he had in life. And I believe that's how we break generational curses and in and, and, and turn um, do a 180 and, and create generational wealth. But this individual is just talking all of this stuff to me. And then it got to the point to where, you know, I'm, I'm starting to, you know, second guess myself. And so I thought about it and I thought to myself, this is absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous that I am sitting here feeling this way um, um, as it relates to um, uh, this individual's um, uh, uh, um, comments or what this individual was saying to me. I just thought this is ridiculous and I shouldn't have to feel this way and so um, I wanted to just address it. I know that I am not the only person out there who feels like they want more out of life. And I know that um, I'm not the only person that feels like they want to chase after life. And so just having that feeling um, 
and having this individual sitting and having me think that, you know, there's no need for me to progress forward as, as young as I am to just stop and give up and, and settle, you know, and then me starting to feel bad about it. Something shifted and it clicked in me that, you know, something I needed to address this and, and, and address this individual and put this individual on blast. And so. Hold on, I want to show you all this individual. And I know a lot of people are going to be able to relate to this. And so here we go. That individual is me. A lot of times we would like to give an excuse or place the blame or point the finger at someone else for why we are stuck in a state of uh, mediocrity or um, not going after life, the only life we have with everything in us. And we we'll like to find an, a reason or excuse to shut down or justify us giving up. And I'm no different. See, the most negative individual in my life is not a co-worker, a family member, no one that I know at church. It's not my wife. It's not my son. It's me. I know that I desire more. I know that I have everything that it takes to achieve more. And then when I'm when I'm talking to myself, because I do that. I, I, I don't know if you do, but I do. I believe it's to me it's healthy to have a conversation with yourself to Work on getting out of your own way. Then I have the, that voice that, that tells me, you know, that that's not possible. No one in your family's ever done that. What makes you think that you're special and can achieve the, those things? And then I have to check myself because I've already been there. Go, growing up where I grew up in, in Chicago and coming from where I came from, and to have achieved and accomplished the things that I've accomplished in my early 30s. I don't do this often. But I do need to pat myself on the back. Because I've come a long way. And I shouldn't allow my negative thoughts to stop my progress. And I know I'm not the only one that's dealing with that. There's a, somebody that's going to be watching this. There's probably going to be a ton of people that see this. That's going to think, man, that's me. We do things like subconsciously, you know, for the most part, get wrapped up in some reality television show. Um, find some meaningless hobby to... Um, take up our time and then we make excuses about not having time um, about what's stopping us and the reality the only thing that's stopping us is us it's those subconscious thoughts that are telling you that it's not possible that um, you're being selfish that um, you shouldn't want more out of life you should just want to be okay you don't need everything and I've said to myself, no, I don't need everything. But it's no way that I feel the way that I feel. It's no way that I feel like I've been living a life and that I, and, and, and honestly, have been, I'm very disappointed with the way that I feel like I accomplished so many things that I was going after relatively quickly and then I shut down and I've been coasting for like the past nine years. Like, whew. And just having this thought process of, man, if I could rewind the hands of time and that effort that I was putting in to accomplishing all of these things I had laid out for myself, you know, after coming out of high school, where would I be if I had given that same effort over the, the past nine years? And so I just want to say to my negative self, um... Homie, you're not going to win this one. Um, there's a new day. 
and I'm letting go of the fear. I understand that setback and failure is a part of achieving greatness in this life. And that is my desire. I want, I, want a, I want my son to see an example of someone who never threw in the towel, never gave up, and never got to the point where he thought that it was okay to coast. I've been there. And, and for me, it's not a good feeling. I don't feel proud of um, pretty much losing out on nine years of hard head down abnormal effort because that's where I was when I was chasing after um, where I'm at now and it's time to go it's time to go to work it's time to move forward it's time to press and so again I know I'm not the only person that feels this way and if, if you have that voice inside of you that it's telling you that you can't do something that and and and, and it doesn't matter even even if the voice is from outside and you internalize that that becomes your voice so if you're listening to that if you are letting outsiders and even you tell you that Success and abundant success is impossible because of a lack of education, where you come from, any of those things. Maybe you've ha you had kids early. Uh, maybe you have kids out of wedlock. I don't know what your circumstance or situation is. But if that's you, it's time to make a change. It's time to let go of uh, caution and go after life. This thing will be over before we know it. And the only thing that I'm certain of is that we don't get a do-over. So let's make the mistakes. Let's fail terribly on the way to amazing success. But just let's never give up. Let's not get comfortable. Let's not feel like, you know, it's time to coast. There's no such thing. We don't get to say that. We didn't create this body. If, if it was over and it was time to coast or we were supposed to give up, we wouldn't be here. And for my believers, I believe you get that. That being said, Demetrius Flowers, as always, I hope you've gotten something out of this. Live your life to the fullest. You've only got one. So go make it happen. Those dreams, those goals, those things that no matter what you can't stop thinking about, even though you've tried to suppress it and push it to the, the background, they're there for a reason. They were birthed into you. So it means that you're supposed to live it out and accomplish it. Let's go make this happen, guys. Let's take the rest of 2013 and go into 2014 on fire because we've made a decision to not just make a change but to take action with that decision. All right, as always, I hope you got something out of this. Later.